this video, I'm going to be discussing the filter section or the VCF voltage controlled filter of Xsynth. I've just dialed up a really simple synth sound like the one that I created in the last video. So I've got the mixer set halfway between the two um, oscillators, I've got them both set to a sine wave and I've just detuned them slightly in, in opposite directions. So we get that sort of that rhythmic beating sound happening. Now, this is perfect for filtering with the VCF um, because there's a lot of there's a lot of high frequencies in there as you can you can hear. Um, so the VCF is usually a low pass filter, which means that it cuts off high frequencies and lets low frequencies pass through. In fact, there are three different uh, three different filter options here, and they're all low pass filters. Um, there are two controls for the filter. <clears throat> One is the cutoff frequency, and that's the basically the frequency at which the filter starts to to kick in. It's unfortunate that it's not in actually displayed in hertz here, but you get the idea anyway. So if we leave it wide open, you can hear the high frequencies as we sweep it down. those high frequencies starting to disappear. So it's kind of like a, an EQ I guess, but it's um, a much more directed version of it. Yeah, it's, it's specifically designed to cut away these high frequencies at a specific, from a, a specific frequency upwards. Um, the other control here is the resonance. The resonance, it's sometimes called Q on a synth, this controls a resonance peak in the filter curve that is centered on the cutoff frequency. Um, it's probably better to just crank it up and you can hear what it sounds like. So if we go for a, this is no resonance. Put a fair bit of filter on there. And as we crank up the resonance, the way that it changes the sound. Now the this filter doesn't have very extreme um, resonance but we'll, we'll switch to the 24 dB one. It has a bit more of a, it's a bit more obvious. So what the resonance is actually doing is giving a boost in volume to the frequencies that are near the cutoff frequency. Um, and you get a really interesting effect when you move the cutoff frequency around while you've got resonance set up high. really cool effects just by playing with those two controls. If you crank the resonance high enough, you'll get a god awful shriek. And changing the cutoff frequency actually changes the pitch of the sound. Because what's happening is that the cutoff frequency, or that there is so much resonance that the, the filter is going into self oscillation. That is that the feedback from the resonance in the filter is enough to actually drive more resonance in the filter. So what you end up getting is essentially, uh, yeah, the frequency at the cutoff frequency is so boosted that it overpowers everything else. So you get a sound that takes on the pitch of whatever the, the current frequency of the cutoff is. Um, now there are three types of filters here. The 24 dB per octave, or this is called also called a four pole. Um, filter. This is the most common that you'll find on a on a synth. Most synths use a 24 dB per octave filter. Basically, that's just talking about the filter curve. You know, filters aren't exact. It's not like um, yeah, you set a filter at 500 hertz and anything below 500 hertz gets through exactly, and everything above 500 hertz gets totally cut off. 
what happens is that it's a, a gradual curve and 24 dB per octave means that as you go up an octave from the cutoff frequency, the volume there is going to be 24 dB lower than it was at the cutoff frequency. And again, if you go another octave higher, it gets another 24 dB lower. So it's basically a sharper cutoff versus the 12 dB per octave, which is a more gradual cutoff. Um, yeah, an EQ control when you're talking about sort of you know, bass, mid, high kind of EQ control like you might get on a hi-fi system. They'll often use a 6 dB per octave filter to do this kind of thing. So that's, yeah, when you get to lower lower dB per octave values that you get those, those much more mellow effects. But yeah, 24 dB per octave is pretty quick. So it's going to cut off most things that are above the cutoff frequency pretty quickly. Um, this last option is basically a software clone of the, the filter from a, a mini Moog. So it's a low pass filter as well. It's also 24 dB per octave, but it just sounds different. And especially when at high resonance frequency, high resonance values, it's not as likely to go into self oscillation as the, the standard 24 dB per octave one. But it does sound quite nice. Um, so that's essentially the filter section.